creating a retained earnings statement. On January 1st, 2019, Castillo Company had a retained earnings balance of 206000 During the year, the following events occurred. Treasury Stock Common was acquired at a cost of 14000 State law requires a restriction of retained earnings in an equal amount. The company reports its retained earnings restrictions in a note on the financial statements. Cash dividends totaling 9000 and stock dividends totaling 6000 were declared and distributed. Net income was 58000 2,000 shares of callable preferred stock were recalled and retired at a price of 150 per share. This stock had originally been issued at 130 per share. A material error in net income for a previous period was corrected. This error correction decreased retained earnings by 12,600 after a related income tax credit of 5,400. Prepare a statement of retained earnings for the year ended December 31st, 2019. And I just filled in um, a couple of the spots that are blue because they gave us partial a partial statement, but we need to fill in some more of these um, title areas and then also the numbers. And so I was just helping that would help us identify what we're where we're trying to fill out here. And so when we get started, keep in mind that a, a corporation is required to treat corrections of all material errors as prior period adjustments of retained earnings. And so, so we're going to deal with that first so that we have a, an adjusted retained earnings that accounts for that uh, material error. So retained earnings, as previously reported, we can pull down the 206. And then we're going to have to say less the correction of overstatement of previous period net income. And that was 12,600 after the related income tax credit. So we'll put minus 12,6. Then that'll give us adjusted retained earnings. So we can just add these two together to get adjusted retained earnings of 193,400. Next, we'll add income, which they reported as 58,000. So we have 251,400, and this is, is just remains unlabeled. Then we need to subtract out the dividends, the cash dividends, the stock dividends, and also this where we um, called, recalled and retired the preferred stock. So we'll say less cash dividends, less stock dividends, and less reduction due to retirement of preferred stock. Our cash dividends, we had 9,000. Stock dividends, 6,000. And for this, we'll come read this uh, row eight again. 2,000 shares of callable preferred stock were recalled and retired at a price of 150 per share, originally issued at 130 per share. So we're going to take this difference, so I'll say equals 150 minus 130 and then multiply that by our 2,000 shares for a total of 40,000. And now we can sum all of these together. Um, I'm gonna put a negative sign in front of that. Oops, I didn't need this parentheses. And then we can add the um, subtotal plus this total of reductions for final retained earnings of 196,400.